Hey WordPress users, I'm going to show you how to write your very own HTML table in WordPress without using any additional plugins. I don't like to use plugins for really simple tables because I just find it faster and easier to write them myself. And also, I want to make sure I'm using the latest HTML5 tags and that I'm using them correctly to denote the various parts of the table. So to start with, flip over to the HTML tab of your post page and this is where you'll write your table. The table simply consists of a table element enclosed in angle brackets, so you'll type an angle bracket, then type table. This will be the table opening tag. Type the table closing tag using an angle bracket, a forward slash, and table again. So the two tags together and everything in between is what constitutes a table element. To add a row to your table, use the tr tag. Okay, so I'm going to indent with four spaces just for clarity, and then I'm going to write the tr tag and I'll automatically put a tr a closing tag down below it just to keep myself organized. Now I'm going to add a field to this using the td tag. td just stands for table data. I'm going to make a, a table about servers and port numbers so I'm just going to put some sample data in here. Let's say web server. I'm going to close that and then I'm going to make an additional data field with the port number and maybe I'll include one more just to make this example a little bit more interesting. I'll include the protocol. So there's the simplest possible table. We have the table element and it encapsulates a TR element which has some TD, some table data fields. And if we look over at the visual part, there we go, we've got the table and it's pretty basic. And we aren't using any really special tags so now I'm going to flip over to another program. I usually don't flip over to any other programs when I'm writing my table, but I'm just going to do this so it's a little bit simpler for you guys to see what's going on. Here's my simple table again. I'm just going to add some additional tags. Before I do, maybe I'll make a few more rows so it's more interesting. So my new table looks pretty good, but I, I don't have any column headings, so I'm going to go add those in now using the th tag. I'm going to make a new row and add my headings using th. Now I have column headings. I made a new row and instead of using td tags I use the th tags to put these cells in. And you can see that by default it has some highlighting that's a little bit darker or bolder than the regular text. But you can also have column headings apply to rows. So I'm going to make these server types also column headings. Okay this is good but we haven't really touched on any elements of HTML5 yet. I'm now going to denote different parts of my table using the new HTML5 tags tHead, tFoot, and tBody. You should always use these to denote the different parts of your tables. Using these new tags can be useful in formatting your table later on and in creating JavaScript functions that will lock the head at the top while you scroll the rest of the table. Also, this makes the various parts of your table machine readable so that bots and crawlers can understand which rows of your table are the head, the body, and the footer. So the tHead tag will come immediately before the tr tag. You have to enclose the entire row or group of rows that you want to serve as your header in the tHead tag. You can have more than one row if you wanted. Next, the body of your table should be enclosed in a tBody tag. This helps computers understand that these rows here are the body of your table. This isn't immediately going to change the look of my table, but it'll be useful later. I don't have any rows yet that will function as a t-foot, but if you want to repeat your headers at the bottom of your table, or if you want to add a summary row at the bottom of your table, that would be an appropriate use for t-foot. So I'm going to add a t-foot to the bottom of my table, and it'll just be a count of server types that are in the table. The t-foot tag comes between t-head and t-body, not at the end of your table, the reason for putting your foot rows right after your head rows and before the body of your table is so the browser can render the header and footer before receiving the body of your table, which may be very substantial. So I'm going to add one new row that just summarizes the count of servers I have in my table. Remember, all of your rows have to have the same number of columns.
There's one additional tag I want to add before finishing up this table, and that's the caption tag. The caption tag is essentially the title of your table. It's going to live between the opening table tag and the opening head tag. I'm going to call this table sample list of servers and ports. Now when I display this table, it has this nice title built in at the top, and also I can use this caption tag to style all the titles appropriately. And now because the title of my table is built right into the HTML code, web browsers and web crawlers don't have to guess at what the contents of my table may be. This may have some impact on your SEO, so choose your table captions wisely. Also, I'm sure this will be a great benefit to those with screen readers. Now if you're looking at this table and wondering, what can I do if I don't want to have a perfect grid? I'm going to show you two attributes you can use to join together fields in columns and in rows. I'm going to join together these two columns here because the count of servers will always be the same. Typically in a summary column this may not be appropriate, so I'm just going to do this as an example. And I'm going to join together these two rows here because the server type is identical. To join two columns together, use the call span attribute. I'm going to say call span equals 2. That will join together this column with the one that comes immediately after it. And I'm going to delete that column, otherwise my table will have too many columns. Remember, I need three columns in each row. TH counts as one column, and this now counts as two columns, for a total of three columns. Now I'm going to join together two rows, using the row span attribute. The row span attribute again goes inside of the tag. And in the next row, I'll have to get rid of this field as well. So the numbers balance. Now when I view my table, these will all be joined. Okay, that's it. We created a simple table, we marked the table headings, we marked all the pieces of the table, including the T head, the T body, and the T foot, so it can be rendered in web browsers and they can enable some fancy scrolling with the help of some JavaScript. We also have this nice title here that's attached to the table to tell screen readers and browsers what the table is about. And we join some rows and cells together using row span and call span attributes. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, a comment or a thumbs up would be much obliged. Just give your honest opinion.